Rapleaf has social data on people. So if you want to learn some, an inf something about somebody, we have information on them and we can help you learn more about your customers. So we help you with kind of the four W's. We help you with the who, the what, the where, and the with whom. On the who is uh, who, uh, learn a little bit more about this person, age, gender, income. Uh, do they have children? Uh, where do they go to college? Where, where do they work? What do they do? On the what, it's what's they're interested in. Are they interested in uh, what movies, books, TV show? What interests do they have? What sports do they like? Uh, what brands do they uh, like? What products are they interested in, et cetera? On the where is where they're hanging out on the internet. So are they on MySpace or LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter? Are they, are they participating on a blog? Are they interacting on a forum, et cetera? And then the with whom is uh, who are their friends? So we can help companies learn more about their customers, give those, uh, give those companies a better experience with those customers so those customers can benefit more. We, we, crawl, uh, we crawl all over the web too. We crawl things like blogs and forums, social networks, discussion boards, news groups, review sites. So we crawl the, the, we crawl the web. Uh, we're search engine guys. Uh, we, learn, uh, we learn about consumers and we learn about um, uh, basically who your customers are, cool. uh, what they're doing and what they're interested in. So I'm in lead gen, so I say, look, I want to sell my leads for hire to BMW. Right. So I take my leads and I ship them to you and then you fill in, the, you fill in all the stuff and then I can sell those for a higher price. That's exactly right. So uh, we can help you qualify your leads better. We can help you ask less questions to those people so they're faster, fill out the form. Uh, we can help you uh, potentially reroute. So instead of selling it to BMW, you may actually sell it to Ford because the person might be more appropriate for Ford. So we can help you reroute things, et cetera. So what uh, do you need to know from me to pull the information you need to pull? Um, any type of, uh, we usually, home address? Th that's great, or things like email or hash of an email or just an ID that's the associated. email itself will give you something? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so yes, the email, we have... Uh, we're, what if I just get first name and email address? That's perfect. So uh, email is a great key. It's a good, it's a good identifier on a person, um, and we can help you learn more about... Now, we can never give you an email address, um, uh, give it to you. but if you give me an email address, I can give you data about that particular person. What are you going to charge me if, if I'm in volume? Uh, we, we start at about three cents a uh, lookup. And then, depending on volume, it could potentially go down over time. By lookup, you mean total whatever you look up for one guy. You've got three cent percent for every little thing you look. No, at. yeah, for 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 a person, three cents for a person. Okay, and if I give you an email address and the guys on the web and he's in Facebook, etc., you can give me some pretty good information. Yeah, you may have some. You may there may be a lot of different um, places where they're interacting with online. They may be talking about certain brands that they're really excited about. They may be talking about how they, you know, it'd be interesting to know, does this person like Barack Obama or do they like Sarah Palin? Do they like Coke? Do they like Pepsi? Do they like NPR? Do they like rap music? Um, so that could be potentially very helpful in learning about sure, your... What, where do you uh, lie in the political spectrum of people, you know, the Obama campaign uh, uh, administration trying to cut down on a lot of stuff being pulled together about people for their for privacy issues. Are you kind of in the... Well, I think that's good. There? No, I, I mean, I think that uh, people should... There's, um, there's a lot of companies that do sometimes things that aren't so great there's, uh, with privacy. Um, there's also a lot of people trying to steal your identity. Um, so I think that as many types of consumer protections that we can have is really, really good. Um, that's, uh, you want consumers to feel comfortable online, you want them to transact comfortably online, so the more that we can do on that can be, is, is really good. However, would, if, you know, if a, a privacy advocate was sitting right here and I was going to ask him what he thought about what we <laughs> do, are you one of the companies that say we really don't like companies going out and find, connecting all the dots? Because once you do that, you know, people really losing their privacy and you're not doing anything illegal. You're just finding, you know, I talked to one guy right. online, I'm on Facebook, I've got my dig, I got my delicious, I'm showing you what I'm linking to other people, but I don't necessarily want anybody to, my boss to know that. So uh, is it, how, how do you respond to that? I think it de uh, depends on how you want to gather data. And so Google does a great job gathering data. And if they didn't go do a great job gathering data, you wouldn't actually learn enough about, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to learn about crawling the internet, et cetera. Um, if you think about, um, 
I think the interest, the, the probably good analogy to like gathering data would be just understanding, um, a good analogy would be a car company. So there's maybe three things. You could either not drive at all, you could drive an environmentally friendly car, or you could drive a big gas guzzling vehicle. Um, you know, we think you shouldn't drive the gas guzzling vehicle, but we think it's impractical not to drive at all. So we think maybe driving the environmental friendly car is the, is the good alternative. And we're essentially the environmental friendly car in the data business. Okay, perfect, perfect analogy.